Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In your reincarnation, let's continue our look at Dragon Quest Sarafa in Arena. In this one, we're going to go more towards a uh, an attacking build. The uh, most important change from the uh, previous builds is this one here. Uh, the Karma 2 ability, this is the one-time heal. This was the one that I always wanted, you know, especially thinking about her as a tank, maybe taking advantage of her provoke. I wanted to give her the uh, Pursuit, however, if I wanted to try her as an attacker, but she does not have access to Pursuit. I was shocked to find that. She only has uh, Bold Vigor and Caged Vigor. Uh, I love Bold Vigor on attackers in Arena, uh, but not on Provoke characters. <laughs> and then Caged Vigor, uh, it's difficult to uh, get to really work. She does have an advantage because she's going to be taking hits and because she can survive at 1 HP. Uh, but Pursuit would be even more consistent, so I just gave up on a uh, damage up ability on her second slot. I was always going to go for this uh, one-time heal. That'll free up uh, like party members and also like uh, sub-weapons for her, so this is fine. And then, uh, Karma slot 3. I'm wondering if I want to give her the uh, damage mitigation barriers. It's only 10% for 3 hits. This fire damage is fine here, I guess. And also, I'm out of materials. Uh, can I say here that I hate the Karma upgrade system? I love the, uh, the buffs that we can get, uh, but doing the process and then also just the cost of materials is ridiculous. So, developers, please change that. Okay, but as usual with my uh, defense scaled damage attackers, I'm going to use uh, Bloody Lars's sword. It's interesting that no other uh, defense scaled weapon has the same uh, multipliers as this, so I wonder if this was a uh, miss by the developers. And we'll uh, do her own spear as a, a sub weapon. We'll get the defense up and the uh, element damage up. And then here, I think this is abstract uh, Noel spear, but has ambush and vigor, so that can help me raise my uh, critical rate a little bit. I need to work on my uh, memoirs as usual. And then we'll give her the uh, water damage up debris. Okay, let's start looking at the uh, fights here. And then I'm going to be playing a lot of this on manual, uh, especially I think the latter half. Uh, but here we'll go uh, auto. And then we got the, uh, the new Dragon Quest Leon. I see some people trying him out in uh, Arena. He does give the other uh, barriers to the party. So he could act as a stand-in to uh, Summer Yuri. I don't know how great he would be. And then we'll get rid of him first because he has a revive on his character skill. So if I use a bunch of weapon skills to take down a guy and then he revives them, that would be annoying. So we'll go for him first. Hopefully their Gale doesn't do too much damage to me in the meantime. And then uh, for this team party, we'll go with uh, Summer Yuri again. And then she's going to have a uh, Provoke uh, Spear, just to kind of share the tanking with uh, Sarafa. Uh, because with her being more of an attacker, I don't want her to take all of the attacks. And then last slot, I have the, uh, the Yorha Gale. So, sorry, I have a bunch of limited releases from oh, recent sorry. releases. <laughs> It's going to be difficult for people maybe to uh, recreate this team, but uh, this was what I liked. Okay, here, this is another speedy team with the uh, Summer Yuri. Um, so in a situation like this, I might do the Demon Tap on a Summer Yuri, just to raise the defense and break the attack before um, Agility Snipes can come out. And then I'm still thinking about the right timing of uh, Sarafa's character skill uh, when we're doing uh, manual play. Uh, but I see people saying that like after you do uh, or you input a bunch of your weapon skills, do her character skill last. But uh, that only works if all of your weapon skills are going to be faster than the opponent's. And I've actually built this team to try to make my weapon skills slower. I do want uh, Summer Yuri's Provoke to come out quickly so that she can share the uh, the tanking. But like um, Gale, I've really built her more for agility, agility sniping, not so much for cooldown. 
So maybe Sarafa and Yuri would charge up the uh, the weapon skills, and then I would do her character skill after. That might be something I could do. Uh, but still playing uh, auto battle here. Okay, there's the um, Defiance, or Dauntless, rather. <laughs> All right, we're going against a fire party. We have the uh, element advantage. So we'll see if we can pull this off. And Gale, even though she has the element disadvantage, able to get through everyone. But yeah, if you're not that concerned we'll about uh, cooldown haste, then you can focus just more on, um, you know, element damage up or agility, that kind of thing. Okay, here we have the uh, the classic uh, tanky team plus AoE attack. I still don't think AoE is very good in this meta. And then uh, Sarafa with the bloody Lars sword. He can be good for uh, punching through the uh, one-time heal on uh, Yudil. And then since Gale is so slow with her cooldown, I don't need to worry about uh, her kind of getting in the way. All right, so there it is. Not quite enough damage there. Uh, this Sarafa is uh, slabbed up 167, so she doesn't have like the water damage up uh, node. All right, but again there, Gale with the element disadvantage, one punching their Fio. And character skill. All right. Yeah, I guess I was lucky in uh, choosing to pull for uh, Yorha Gale. I wanted her just for her sword, so I could put on my uh, anniversary Yuzuki. And then uh, everybody got the, uh, the karma, you know, the 30% cooldown haste. So uh, Yuzuki stopped being as useful. And then I just had this Gale line around, so yeah. Alright, here's kind of a mirror match. And let's see if we can get in the um, the very powerful weapon skill from Sarafa. Oh, Gale took her down, so we're not going to see that. <laughs> I saw somebody on Reddit ask if um, Sarafa was better than this Udeal. And like, it's really hard, it's almost impossible to answer that question without knowing that person's account knowing what kind of team they're using in Arena, knowing what kind of team they're going against in Arena. It's kind of similar to... Um, or, like, it's similar to why I don't name any of my videos, you know, should I pull for something, because... If I were to do that, I would have to take into account every possibility of everyone's account. <laughs> and that's just silly. Uh, it's related to uh, why I don't like uh, tier lists as well. Because every character has a use. Just got to look for it. Too many people look at tier lists and just take, you know, the most kind of top line, shallow interpretation. Okay, but here we're going to start to play manually. And let's see if I can uh, do the weapon skill from Sarafa. Take down their you deal. Okay, got him. And we'll do the character skill on Sarafa, and I should not have input my uh, Gale weapon skills after that, just to give Sarafa a chance to uh, make use of her uh, defiant, uh, Dauntless. <laughs> It'll turn out okay, because uh, Gale will do enough damage to take down their Gale. But yeah, if I wanted to really take advantage of the Dauntless, then I would wait to input uh, Gale's weapon skills. <laughs> And yeah, I'm getting pretty good use out of this Awakening Zero Yorha Gale. It bothers me, you know, that she's not awakened, but yeah, she's doing fine. <laughs> okay, here's a full tanky team. Let's target uh, Udeal first. Get rid of his uh, barriers from Summer Yuri.
And then here, I'm guessing there's not going to be an, uh, that much damage output coming at me, so I don't have to worry about the timing of Sadafa's character skill as much. It's more with agility snipers or uh, cooldown haste characters. Yeah, there too. Couldn't quite get you deal down. Uh, if I had done the weapon skills in the opposite order, then I would have been able to take him down, I think. But we'll take him down there, and I'm not expecting a lot of uh, damage output from the last two guys. Uh, but yeah, this attack team is pretty strong. I was thinking that this uh, Sarafa was going to be better on offense than a defense anyway. But uh, yeah, she really wants to make me play manual, which is fun, but I wonder how uh, practical or usable that's going to be, you know, if it's the last hour before the end of the season. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, here's another speedy team. Maybe we'll do the, uh, the Oni tap, the demon tap on Summer Yuri. And then I'll wait for some weapon skills to charge, and then we'll do uh, Sadafa's character skill. So let's do it after the first of Noel. I think I can take that. <laughs> okay, there's one weapon skill. There's two. And... A bunch of my weapon skills are going to come out, so we're not even going to get down to uh, 1 HP. Take down their two guys. Or three guys, rather. Gale is too strong. <laughs> but yeah, I think I have the, uh, the timing pretty good, you know, with how uh, or when my weapon skills come out. From uh, character 1 to character 3. Alright, so here we'll go against a uh, pretty strong player, and um, I'll do the Provoke right away. I think that was a mistake. I should have waited, but... Oh, what was happening here was that actually their cooldown overall for their whole team was on the slow side. And that's always kind of hard to judge. So what I should have done is I should have put in a few weapon skills and then Sarafa. And then wait for their weapon skills and then put in my Gale weapon skills. So we'll do that for the next battle, but we'll see how this one goes. Okay. So here, this is maybe the best performance I've seen by a uh, Circus Lavania on Global. So I was glad to show that off. Like Anniversary Udeal, pretty straightforward to use, but uh, Circus Lavania, and then this uh, Sarafa here. A bit more technical. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting. Okay, we'll put in a few weapon skills, and then... We'll put in Sarafa's character skill, and then we'll wait for some of their weapon skills to come out. And then we'll put in Gale's weapon skills. And let's see how this goes. Okay, but we'll get the big weapon skill from Sarafa. Just blow through the uh, one-time heal. Take down their Lavania. And then we'll take their weapon skills. Let's see if we go to zero. No, Provoke is going off on my uh, Summer Yuri. <laughs> okay, there it goes, but Dauntless is gone. Alright, take down their Gale. Just me and Yuri. Companion, fill the character skill, get off the character skill, take down there, Yuri. All right. And again, that was against a top 10 player. <laughs> okay, so that is yet another look at Sarafa. I think I'm getting closer to maybe my ideal build of her. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.